Okay, so I finally felt like, um, you know, making a YouTube video where I talk, and today I kind of wanted to talk about, like, um, how people treat animals and how you can, like, use that as a sign as to what kind of person they are. So, um, I know this is kind of a weird angle, but really what I'm trying to say is the more important part. So, you know, when people treat animals bad, they're gonna be bad people. They're gonna treat people bad. So, I've met a lot of people in life that have been really bad to me, who have been rude, mean to, and unaffectionate to, and like, saying bad things about my animals that I own. So, I have many dogs, and it's just, I would say it's pretty much a sign that if somebody is, um, you know, hurting your dog, that's a horrible sign. You need to get that person away from your animal. But it's also kind of a bad sign if somebody's calling your animal stupid all the time, saying bad things about your animal, and, um, you know, just doing things like bad stuff, teasing them, cruel behavior, and there are good people who are afraid of animals, who don't hurt animals, and don't, you know, it's like, it's okay if you don't want to be around dogs and pet dogs, but I think it says something about people when they don't respect the life of an animal, and when they're cruel to an animal. Like, there's a big difference between, I don't want to pet your dog, and I hate your dog, it's stupid, but it's just... You can tell so much about a person by how they treat animals. And I'd really recommend to notice that about people when you're making friends with people. If they're an animal abuser, it's just inexcusable. And if someone's saying really weird things about your dog, that's weird behavior as well. You don't want somebody to um, be in your life that is literally trying to do bad things to your dog, whether it's um, violence of any kind, bad, bad stuff. Just don't let people abuse your animals, and don't let people that are animal abusers come into your life. I've known so many weird people and weird examples from, not from like, furries are very nice to animals, but the people that I've known from real life, from school, have been so cruel to my animals in at least verbal ways because I don't let people hurt my animals but I just I'm telling you think about it when you meet people don't latch on to somebody who's gonna make you feel horrible and be rude about your animals I just do not trust people that demean my animals verbally absolutely not my dog He's sleeping right now, and it's just, you know, even though animals don't have the same functions as people, where we can talk and do all this computer stuff, and all these high function activities, they still deserve respect, and love, and a home, and some kind of food, and all these basic needs, and they deserve respect because they're a living being, and it's the same with lots of different animals, not just dogs. Um, you know, it's it's a bad sign in people when they're cruel to animals. I just, that's kind of my main point. Um, it's really, really quite bad when people are like that. And um, people that have said my dog's stupid and avoided them and not treated them like a living being have been really rude and petty and abusive and toxic in their human to human relationship with me. So I just recommend, you know, keep your animal safe, value them, don't let people say bad things about your dog. It's just not okay. It's like, my dog is not stupid. He just has a personality and he sometimes has some behavioral issues. Like, my dog will be so excited that you'll have to say sit a couple times for him to listen to you. And that doesn't make my dog stupid and unworthy of life. Like, that is some of the cruelest things you can say about my animal. Absolutely not. 
it's just a bad sign. And then I've known people where they'll say horrible things about dogs and then say good things about cats. It's like, why does my animal deserve a cruel life, but your cat doesn't? Like, they're an animal. They deserve a good life. That's what I believe. And then people that are kind of like weird in this like way of treating animals like aesthetics, like toys. It's like people that are very like, oh, I like dogs, but I only like um, Dobermans. And I think all Chihuahuas should die. And that's horrible. That's horrible behavior in my opinion. You can't go around telling people they have horrible dogs when their dogs are having a good life, good behavior, and are non-violent dogs. Like, I don't need somebody telling me that my dog's not good enough because it's not the aesthetic breed that you like, and because my dog was rescued and cheap. It's like, I deserve to be able to be respected, and so does my dog. It shouldn't matter that I bought my dog for a hundred bucks on Craigslist, you know? I don't need to buy a thousand dollar dog for you to respect my animal. Absolutely not. This is like kind of a like a long like talking video, but I'm just seriously saying you can notice with bad people in your life how they treat your dogs. Not good. <laughs> not good. This video is kind of weird because my you know fursuit mouth doesn't move, but I just think it's important here he is, to value your animal and value you as a person and just keep yourself protected and safe. Keep your dog safe. Make sure nobody's doing something to your dog that's going to hurt them mentally because it's not okay to abuse animals. And certain kinds of strange behavior will make your dog violent and disobedient and stuff like that. Like you don't want somebody constantly teasing your dog and making your dog have bad behavior when you're not around or when you're there. Like you need to make sure someone's not untraining your dog or anything like that. It's really like a little bit more complicated than how I put it, but I would just say stay away from people that abuse dogs, that treat them like accessories, that say weird things, all this stuff. Absolutely not. The people that I Okay, the people that I despise most in the world, there's a short list, you know, really bad people, and animal abusers is on that list. Absolutely not. Horrible stuff. And, um, I'd also just like to say about other animals, so there are a lot of, um, possums in America, and they're really great animals, and if you see one in your yard, do not kill it. Just, if you don't want it on your property, you can transport it to some kind of public field or something, but all they do is they eat bugs. They don't have rabies, hardly ever, and they're very gentle, docile animals, but they will like hiss at you and bare their teeth because they don't want to be killed. But just do not kill the possum. Don't eat the possum, don't kill the possum. Some places in the south, they will kill and eat possums. And that's horrible, that is horrible. Like, I love animals, obviously, you know, I'm big into the furry thing, but I'm talking about real animals here. Don't kill possums. Don't call bad services to kill a possum in your yard. Just move them. And, you know, it's like, don't kill these animals that are inconvenient to you. They deserve life. They do. I'm really tired of people pretending that their animal rights, like, you know, activists or they're pro-animal rights and then they treat dogs like garbage. You can't do that. You can't tell my dog it's stupid and tease him and try to untrain him and say all these horrible things and then say you're an animal rights activist. It's just, it's very bad. No, absolutely not. So that's kind of, you know, what I have to say in this video. I hope you guys find it kind of interesting. Um, you know, it's not the most crazy take, but something I really wanted to say today. 
and um, I hope you guys are doing good. I'll try to think about different things I can talk about in different videos I can make. Also, I'm kind of, uh, I apologize um, if I'm not talking loud enough or there's a talking problem because I have a little bit of a lisp, but I hope you like the video. So, thank you. Um, adding to the video, here's um, my dog. He's sleeping on my bed and he's having dreams. He's a great dog and um, pretty much all dogs are great. You know, if you're, you know, make it, make good decisions about animals and making sure they have their needs met and treating them right and everything like that. Um, there are always different ways for things to work out in life and uh, rescuing a dog can be a good thing as long as you treat them good. And he's great behaviorally, but I still think that if you want to get something um, challenging, you could have an aggressive dog and rehab them, but you need to be qualified for that job. Little man stretch. But yeah, I love animals. Um, don't hurt animals. Learn and educate yourself and uh, be good to animals. Be good to other people. He's a very lovely dog. Little boy feet. He's very sleepy. I also... Um, have these little stuffed animals of possums but um, I forgot to say that possums will stop your animals from getting ticks because they'll eat the ticks in your yard and they also um, they stop Lyme disease in other animals by eating ticks because they're immune to it so thanks for watching the video and um, I hope you liked it